You're watching Outnumbered, and we are glad that you are. In the wake of the Paris terror attacks, Republican senators are now again vowing to block President Obama from closing Guantanamo Bay prison in Cuba. They're pushing a bill that would clamp down on his ability to transfer terror suspects out of that military prison. Lawmakers cite the steady stream of former detainees showing up on the front lines of terror. Republican Senator John Barrasso goes so far as to accuse the president of not leveling with the American people on Gitmo. Here he is with our friend Greta. So the bottom line is we need to call a timeout on what the president wants to do with these releases from Guantanamo Bay. The problem is that the president has actually been quickening the releases to the point where uh, 15 were released in December alone. Very little surveillance. Uh, really, there's not the chance and the opportunity to make sure they don't go back into the fight. We know we now have over 100 who have been confirmed back into the fight against us. All right, let's bring it back to the couch now. And, you know, our brain room did a little studying of Gitmo detainees. Uh, interesting, a fair amount of them are from Yemen. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem after what we just saw roll out in Paris. Yemen's a problem. The yeah. whole place. Right? Good Lord, it's but not they, that they, they have place. a difference some in of category here. The they have a difference right. in category. They say some of the detainees are confirmed of reengaging, and mm. some are suspected of reengaging. But if you add up that, it gives you well over 33% of them suspected or actually getting back into the fight. What are yeah. your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, it, uh, conservative numbers is is 33 uh, percent. Look, he's he's the president is definitely uh, set on getting the facility closed prior to his departure from office. I mean, there's no doubt about that. And you don't. It's not as if um, circumstances have changed in the ability to find homes for these uh, detainees. So what I mean by that is, you know, we're not saying, OK, we're going to hold to the high standards that we've been holding in the past. And the Bush administration made the same effort to try to clear the place out, get other countries to take these people. But you have to follow certain you know, obligations. You can't release them to a country where you know they're going to be mistreated or, or tortured. And I know people out there are going to go, well, you tortured them. Uh, you know, that's going to be that old chestnut. Mm -hmm. uh, but the point being is now Uigurs. we've lowered the bar. You we've can't send Uyghurs back to China. China doesn't want Uyghurs. Right, exactly. And so right. we've lowered the bar. We're kicking these people out. The facility is not the problem. All the right. problem is how we so, deal with them. Kennedy, what do you say to those people, though, who say, well, our, our good name around the world is, is suffering because uh, we have this prison that's operating? In fact, as I read, the general who helped set this up is now saying, going on the record and saying it should be closed. Oh, well, I, Gitmo, and, and I may hold the minority view here, I think it's kind of creepy, and it's really expensive. You know, it's two point so seven million dollars. What do we do? Well, that's, that that's is a, a, that, that is that's the problem. Question, right. Mm -hmm. right? Is there isn't a good alternative? I mean, can you send them people? to supermax facilities? And and what's wrong with doing that? Because if you're really mm -hmm. dealing with murderers and thugs, like if you had someone who murdered just one person mm -hmm. in the United States, like you wouldn't just send them off to, you know, Oman and and hope for the best. You would. Well, look, we're not we're not dealing with criminals. First of all, we're dealing with terrorists. But they are we're criminals. With, if, uh, but the, no. No, Terrorism is criminals. a criminal act, Why? and that they, 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 if you've killed How people, you, you can't just send them off into the wild. This is a war. The we're in so. a war, and if people still have a problem with understanding that we're in a war, no, I, I, that, I think we're I, actually I agreeing on something. Yeah, what okay. I'm saying is, I would rather see these people housed in a facility they can't get out of, mm. so they can't go to another country, re-radicalize, come back, and kill us. Well, I think if they could, if they could come up with a plan that would make sense, I don't have necessarily a problem with that. You'd have to put them in isolation. We have enough of a problem right. with sort of the radicalization of, uh, to some degree, of Muslims in America. In prisons. Isn't that the danger so that we send pop, them to yeah. Supermax that then right. they radicalize others and recruit others within that prison? I mean, I think I mean, they, in a certain community anywhere. within those prisons, they would be looked at as, as, as heroes, frankly. Right. But then yeah. it's the prison's responsibility you, to make right. sure. You know what's that, upsetting? So, how many millions of dollars and how many hours and days and years are men and women in uniform spent trying to capture these criminals? The sacrifices that their families made. They haven't been home for years trying to hunt down. I mean, the number of the most dangerous criminals that they have worked to get and we're just sending them back out. If I were a military family or any of them responsible for these missions, I would be so furious right now. Well, and then you have the outlay of resources and blood and treasure of recapture. That's right. Well, on, on top of that. And that's an important point. You have to. I know, I know we're rushed out of time. Why can't you send them to I mean, that, that essentially solves... All of these problems because there's a, a bill lot less saying expensive. because there's a bill saying that you can't send them because Democratic need, and Republican senators were up in arms when the administration tried to do that. We also we have to worry about this. If we don't have a facility where we can hold them in a, in a proper fashion, then what we're saying is we're not going to worry about picking up detainees off the field because we'd have no right. We have place no to put them. There are lots of questions about whether you want them in a regular budget and our time budget.